What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to watchOS 8, we now have the second point update and as you can see here on my Apple Watch Series 7, you will see that we have watchOS 8.3 as the software update version that's available. So for some reason, Apple decided to skip watchOS 8.2. So if you are coming from watchOS 8.1, you'll be able to update to watchOS 8.3 straight away. If you are on the beta and for some reason you are not seeing this update, what you want to do is go into settings and remove the beta profile that you might have on your device and once you click remove you need to input your passcode but do that and then you'll be able to check for the software update again it might show up or if you're not coming from the beta and you're not seeing this update what you want to do is power cycle your device if you don't see it give it some time as this update just came out and you surely will be able to update to watchOS 8.3 now I've updated my Apple watch series 7 that you are seeing here so we want to start off by looking at the software change that came with this update so if we go into the settings and then go to general you can see I'm on watch OS 8.3 and my watch is up to date if we go to the about you can see this is watch OS 8.3 and the version is 19 s 55 as the build so that's what I have here and now in terms of new features and changes that came with watchOS 8.3 the first one has to do with privacy so if we go into our settings and go to where it says privacy you scroll all the way down till you see privacy click on it and then go all the way down till you see app privacy report so now with watchOS 8.3 we get privacy report similar to what we have on iOS 15.2 so if you click there you can see that you have like data data and sensor access and also you'll be able to see the different applications and what type of data they are accessing so for example if we were to click on mail you can see that mail in the past seven days accessed our contacts and that was exactly 20 hours ago so let's go back let's look for another application like uh, let's say the weather the weather accessed our location 25 minutes ago and it says you can control this app access to your data and center in privacy settings on your iPhone as well so you can see that we have privacy reports it's quite good that we don't have apps that are using like a lot of um, a, a privacy information at the same time but you can see what you know sort of information that the apps you have on your device are collecting uh, on your device so that is something that's good and you can always see more on the iPhone and if you want to actually save your privacy report you can click there and it says app privacy report will be saved to the Apple watch on your iPhone and you have to go to general diagnostics logs and to download the view of the report so that is how you do it and it's good that you can sort of have a breakdown of what these applications are accessing now the second feature that comes with watchOS 8.3 is added support for gesture controls so what i mean by this if you go into your settings and then go to accessibility so we want to go to accessibility and then we want to go to where it says assistive touch if you click here and enable assistive touch you can see some of the settings that you can change and if you click where it says try it out you can see that you know you can control your watch try tapping your finger pointers like this and that's pinch and that is registered and now you have double pinch just like this and you can see double pinch is registered and then you have clench so this is clench you can see that that is registered and now we have a clench i just did that double clench and you can see that you just basically do double clench it says i need to give it another go so double clench has been recognized the change that it brings with watchOS 8.3 is that now this feature that we saw back in May 2021 before it was only available to the Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE 
and now they've added support when it comes to watchOS 8.3 to enable added assistive touch to the Apple Watch Series 4 and Series 5. So that means that if you have an Apple Watch Series 4, Series 5, Series 6, Series 7 or SE, you can try, you can try out this assistive touch by Apple and be able to move your watch single-handedly. It's a good feature, but for me, I find that, you know, I'm, I'm okay with the way I use my my watch so just so you know more devices have been added if you use the ecg app quite often i have some good news for you if you are in china as the ecg app has been brought over on the apple watch series 4 and newer with watchOS 8.3 for those that are in china so this follows like regulatory approval since apple has to submit legal documentation and it has to go through like a whole process in order for it to be approved so the ecg app and all its functions have been approved for china and with watchOS 8.3 you can take an ecg if you have an apple watch series 4 and newer since this is a feature that's now supported in that region it took that long but at least more people can utilize this feature another feature that this watch os 8.3 brings by means of siri is that this watchOS 8.3 adds support for Apple Music Voice Plan. It's a plan that basically costs about $4.99 per month and it will give you the ability to be able to use Siri to activate your music or your playlist. So if you have like AirPods or devices that are connected, you can easily be able to uh, connect them and you'll be able to use your music and this is now supported on watchOS 8.3 now again you can see that this is you know the new watch face that ca came with the apple watch series 7 but apple did release six new apple watch faces that are available for download and more for world aids day so the first one has to looks like this one it's the world time but in red and then the second one is this one you can see it and then this is the third one and this that you're seeing here is the fourth one i kind of like the fourth one and then this is the fifth one and the last one is this one so the website that you can go to if you want to see these watch faces and add them to your devices you just have to go to apple.com forward slash product red and then you can click go or search and you see that the website says the end of AIDS begins with red and you can see join us in celebrating 15 years of fighting AIDS and you will notice that you know for for iPhones product red and you will notice here if you go to the Apple watch you can see some bands and red Apple watch that you can buy and also you now have these Apple watch faces you can see that most of them I've added them on my device if you want a specific watch face from here you just click on add watch face to apple watch and it will automatically add i will leave this uh product red uh, website in the description of this video so that you can get some of these watch faces should you wish to so that is something that's good now another change that i noticed for me in my province in canada is that we now have the ability to add our vaccine card to our wallet so this is my vaccine card the way it looks in brief so you notice that you know it says my name and then it says like a vaccine or the shot that i got if i click on it it shows a qr code which can be scanned and will give out too much information it will give out your date of birth the date you got your vaccines and so on but it's good that now finally in canada this is something that's supported and you can utilize it fully again another change that i noticed with this update once you've updated check your app store to make sure that there are no applications that need to be updated further to be more compatible with watchOS 8.3 i did have to update a few so you can always check that out on your iphone and also with the app store there's going to be a new splash screen that's going to be there for the app store the first time you open it up and you'll be able to just click ok and then the app store 
will open up like normal just like what you are seeing right here so basically those are the new features and changes that came with watchOS 8.3 so far let me know whether i missed some of the new features and changes now this update also brings about quite a number of fixes or bugs that have been resolved the first one has to do with icloud so if you have like cloud services that were having issues with synchronizing with your device could be just backing up on the cloud or iCloud services or basically cloud synchronization issues you can try those services again as a lot of issues have been resolved with regards to that on this update also with this update it fixes an issue whereby Siri wouldn't be able to tell you your battery performance or I mean your battery percentage so let's try that again and see what's my battery percentage battery is at 99%. Okay, so as you can see here, that is now a command that is recognized. Previously, as I was testing watchOS 8.3, there were issues with this and sometimes it wouldn't recognize the command and it would say, hmm, I don't understand what you mean by that. But now on the Apple Watch, you can use Siri to tell you your battery on the Apple Watch. And also, if I was to use my iPhone here, what's the battery percentage on the apple watch you can see that also on the iphone it's a recognized command and it says battery is 99 percent so that is a resolved issue as well and also the now playing screen has been fixed with this update so if you're having issues with selecting you know playing devices and so on on watchOS 8.1 now playing has been fixed and you can always select the device that you want to use as your audio in a better way before there were issues where some devices were not working and so this is what i mean by that and you can always check whether you have two devices that are connected to your watch and you'll be able to select them better like how it was intended to be so that has been fixed also this update fixes an issue that caused some notifications to interrupt a mindfulness session so you would be like in a mindfulness session where you don't want to be disturbed so let's let me show you what i mean so you take a moment to pause just like what i what you are seeing here and when you begin your mindfulness session basically no notifications are meant to be delivered or you're not meant to be disturbed you're just meant to you know relax and focus a little bit on your peace of mind and there was an issue where even though you are like at this screen notifications would still continue to pop up your watch would vibrate and also continue to ring and this update resolved that issue now also another or perhaps the last fix that came with this update for the apple watch series 7 it has to do with the battery where sometimes you know the, the apple watch should be seven whether it's the cell or the wi-fi model it wouldn't really charge normal it would sometimes charge slowly and towards like the last two percent it would really be slow so this update fixes an issue where you know apple watch tv7 models were experiencing some charging issues hopefully it, if you're experiencing some battery issues this update also fixes that for you on the apple watch series 7 and also the series 5 when it comes to my battery you can see it's still on 100 percent this is a typically almost a new apple watch it's about two months old so i wouldn't really expect it to drop and performance so far i can't really tell a difference between this and watch os 8 the 8.1 that i had i was on before so performance and battery are still average but if i do see a change then perhaps i'll do like a follow-up video now apple is going to be releasing a number of updates ios 15.2 and mac os 12.1 so if that's something that you're interested into i'll be covering most of those updates on these devices so definitely stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss out thank you very much for watching stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace